Check out my steering angle. Oh my god. What am I playing? Oh, you know, I'm just playing GTA on PC. You know, with my mods. Check it out. Got mods. Yeah. Because, you know, GTA on PC is awesome. And I'm using my Xbox controller. But look at this. Come on. You can't beat a Hachi. But look at my steering angle. Look at it. It's awesome. Alright, hello everyone. Um, doing a video on GTA on PC because, well, drifting in this game is amazing. If you don't know what I mean by drifting in this game, you're like, what? You can't drift in GTA. You wanna bet? When? Who said you can't drift in GTA? Not me. I mean, look at this. But yeah, it's a drifting mod. It's it goes in the handling folder with the file and the thing, and it makes the car go wee. But uh, I have a car mod installed. It's a Hachi Roku. As you guys can see, I have another like three others installed. One's like a Lamborghini. One's a Ferrari. Actually, these cars are still down here. Let me go ahead and show you. I don't think the Lambo's still down here, but I think these cars are. So. This is the Ferrari Enzo. I just put it in replace of the Turismo. I don't have very many car mods installed. I've got these couple. But yeah, these don't these don't have the um, mod installed on them. The drift mod. Only like I have two cars that have it on this car, and there's actually a really nice paint to go with this car. Let me go see if I can get it on here. So, car spawning. Ah, <sighs> not that one. Very sensitive. Oh, wait. Where's it? There it is. No. This one? No. Here it is. Check out my paint, dudes. But yeah, there's a Lamborghini like Reventon. I think it's I think it's the Reventon that I have installed for the Infernus. This car back car is like crazy. But check my check out my drifting. Check out my drifting. And like the physics in this game for drifting are crazy awesome, like realistic. Because I can get in the mines with the same exact drift mod. And the car doesn't feel anything like this. You see how this car's got like a really smooth transition and like really smooth on round corners and stuff? The mines is completely different. Whoa. It feels crazy, like grippy in the front. I mean, it's so crazy, the physics in this game. I mean, it's like crazy realistic and just plain awesome. So, if you guys that haven't downloaded GTA on PC and your PC can handle it, I recommend you download this game because this game is absolutely utterly amazing on PC. It's good on Xbox, but amazing on PC. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna guys, I'm gonna show you like how much time people put in these mods and things like this car. The detail into this car is pretty ridiculous and the detail into the mines, R34, is even more ridiculous. I mean, this this is just crazy. Okay, can you, can you, there we go. I mean, look at this. They, they did the whole interior. This is actually a drift car. I downloaded it and it said Hachi Roku drift car. This is actually like a drift car, so it's actually got like a drifting style thing to it. But I mean, look, the rims are black. I mean, there's something in the trunk. I'm not. Hang on, let me see if I can get to the trunk. Let me do this real quick. I don't even like. I'm not even sure what that is in the trunk right there. I don't really know. But like, the whole interior is done. It's got like something seats in it. <laughs> uh, I mean, the dash is done. Look at the engine. I mean, it's not crazy awesome, but. I mean, look at it. It's got the engine done. I mean, this is just, this is completely awesome. And the, oh my gosh, this car is just amazing. So I gotta close all these stuff. There we go. Close it all. I mean, it's really, really, really cool. So I'm gonna do some drifting in this car and show you how fun it is. And then you should do the same. Well, if you can. Oh yeah, um, there might be some frame rate lag every once in a while. There's definitely gonna be frame rate lag when I get into the R34 because R34 has got more detail into it and I'm like on low to medium settings right now so you know it isn't great quality as is but there could be some frame rate lag because my graphics card sucks sorry about that I'll be upgrading soon hopefully there we go around the corner we go oh oh okay here we go I'm gonna try something here we go well one thing I don't like is how the camera like revolves around the car Oh, <laughs> I did like I couldn't see where the car was, so I didn't know how far to go out. But this, like, I've been using just drifting mod for a maximum of maybe four hours now, and it's amazing on this car. On the mines, it's really hard because I just installed it on the mines, 
I mean, you can actually be really smooth with the counter steer in this game. And I thought about plugging in my wheel and trying to drift with my wheel, but that was too much work, so I just said, screw it, I'll use an Xbox controller. And that's what I'm doing right now. I can actually be, like, decently, ooh, decently smooth with the counter steer if I really want to, if I, like, if I really try. But what's the point of trying? I mean, if you make it run the corner with, like, a stupid angle, then it's fun as it is. But, like, I, I could do this all day and just not get bored. Go away, Roman. And just not get bored because the game's a... What's this? What, what is this message? Stay in touch, cousin. I feel as though we're drifting apart. Well, I'm drifting, but not apart. <laughs> get out of here, Roman. But, yeah, like, I've modded the heck out of this game already, and I got it, like, like a couple days ago. It took forever to download. It's a crazy huge game. But, uh, yes, I didn't buy it. I downloaded it. It's, like, because why, why could I... Why would I go buy something when I can get it free? And, um, but yeah, it's just, it's crazy how, how, like, awesomely realistic the physics engine and, like, the graphics engine this game is. Like, the graphics engine is not, like, fully unlocked right here. I don't have any of the graphics engine installed because, because, um, my graphics card really can't handle it. I mean, it's having trouble as is, but I'm going to get a new graphics card, as I said, so, yeah. But, I mean, look at this. I mean, it's just crazy. If you like drifting and you, like, like just like cars in general then you should go definitely like download GTA and just try these mods out because it is ridiculous how cool this is but I mean drifting in this car is like just crazy awesome full counter full counter oh look at that full counter oh here we go see if I can make it in here nope oh, Phil <laughs> like I'm still getting the hang of this mod I mean I've got pretty much the basis of it by like controlling the car to go in like to a small area that's really hard so I'm trying to like master that I'm actually gonna try something here I think it's right here I think oh oh yeah it is okay here we go here we go oh oh no I failed like you can actually drag the handbrake and actually like it works like a real handbrake and it, it, this, this drifting mod is just perfected I mean it's, it's just perfect it couldn't get any better at all if you try to make it better I mean, it is perfect, and I will put a, try to put a link to it in the description, if you need a tutorial on how to install it, I can make one, just post in the comments saying I need a tutorial on how to install it. That'll literally take me like 30 seconds to do, and then you're, then you can just have fun drifting your cars. So, yeah, if you need a, if you need a uh, tutorial on how to install this, just tell me, and uh, I will go ahead and make a tutorial on how to install it. Just tell me if you need it. Just uh, also post a link in the description to a website that tells you if you can actually run the game. It's always good to know that because like, you don't want to go download it and then not be able to play it. So trust the website that's, that's going to be in the description because it is completely correct. On my old computer, I, try, I went to the website and tried it out and it said no, I couldn't run it. And then I, I downloaded it instead and it, um, it basically crapped on my computer and I lagged everywhere. So I basically said just screw it. And then I got my new parts and... Then it said I could run it, and well, now I'm running it, and as you can see, having the most utterly fun that you could ever have in GTA. Now, like, imagine doing tandem tandems, like, tandems to everything in GTA, like, drift battles and stuff. That would just be, wow. I'm totally going to start a freaking GTA 4 Drift League. It's going down. <laughs> like, this is just, this is crazy awesome. But, um... I'm done drifting this car for now. I'm gonna show you my other cars, I guess. I'm gonna show you the Lamborghini that you didn't see. Just go ahead and my spawner here. Spawn my cars. Spawn my cars. Uh, spawning. I'm gonna show you the Infernus. Where is it at? Where is it at? There it is. Infernus. I you gonna say I've got the Lamborghini Reventon. I think it's a Reventon. Yeah. And it actually goes faster because of the handling. You kind of have to install with the car, so it goes a lot faster than just.